Thanks for your interest in Numicon. In my work, I find that teachers really appreciate some help in getting started. So I'm here to show you what's in the box and some of the activities that are around the classroom. There's lots in here. The all-important teaching file, we'll come back to that later. A feely bag, a number line, magnetic strip and two spinners. Two bags of pegs and the all-important shapes in number bonds to ten. Very colourful and the kids love packing them away, which is always handy. And a couple of baseboards. They have overlays, double-sided. Loads and loads of plastic here. Now we need to know what to do with it. The file is a structured teaching programme and the binder comes in four sections. Section one, the teaching guide, gives lots of ideas for planning your teaching and creating a number-rich environment. And there's a really useful section on the key mathematical ideas to support your subject knowledge. The activity cards in section two are great for supporting your maths planning with loads and loads of suggestions for exciting activities. The cards all follow the same format with the key mathematical idea cross-referenced to the teaching guide, the core activities and other ideas for using Numicon, mathematical language, outside, and then the connecting activities that reinforce the same mathematical ideas but using other equipment. The assessment section in number three is linked to the early years foundation stage development bands and then finally the photocopyable resources to use with the activities such as the spinner overlays. I'm sure you'll find the file really useful and as you grow in confidence you'll come up with loads of ideas of your own. Now, let's go and see what we can do with it. Children love exploring and it's such a crucial part of their learning as you know. With the Numicon shapes, they're a great way for children to explore number ideas. It's number five. You can put it in sand, water, soil, I've got it in lentils and couscous. And children love making patterns. Numicon plays to children's strong sense of pattern. And of course, numbers are all about pattern. You can use the overlays in the kit to help children recognise the pattern in the shapes. Filling the baseboard is shown on one of the early activity cards in the kit. It's harder than it looks. The pegs can be used for loads of things. Try getting the children to count them into patterns and then use the shapes to see the whole number. We can help children use their sense of pattern to put the shapes in order. You can photocopy the numerals in the kit and help children link their counting with the shapes to give them their number names. Once the children can see the shapes as whole numbers, then they can start using them for addition and subtraction. Seven and three makes ten. The kit comes with a set of overlays that show children how to use whole numbers by matching shapes to make their numbers. Children love building, as you know, and here we have a constructed tower of tens showing all these number facts, 10, 5 and 5, 8 and 2, 7 and 3, using the pegs and the Numicon shapes. And so, as 7 and 3 make 10, then 10 take away 3 leaves 7. Of course you can't break off 
bits of Numicon for taking away. So we cover 10, take away 4, leave 6. All these ideas and many more are in the activity cards. The spinners that you'll find in the kit are a great way to help children to connect Numicon shapes with numerals. I haven't yet mentioned the feely bag. I thought it was just a motivational tool. Children love feely bags. But actually it's fundamental for children to visualise a number, get that shape in their heads and visualise it as a number. A lovely game you can play is to put a number in there and get them to feel it. It's lovely to hear those children describing a number. It's got a sticky out bit on the top. It's got three down one side, oh, four holes down the other, it's quite big, it's a seven. And this is where the magnetic strip comes in handy. So, that's what's in the box. Numicon has transformed my way of teaching. I feel so much more confident when I'm teaching children early maths skills. The equipment sits beautifully around the classroom. And most importantly of all, I can really see where the difficulties lie in early number skills. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to Numicon, and you find using Numicon as rewarding as I have. <laughs>